Okay, so the event is Drag Bingo, which is basically essentially bingo, but in drag, which makes it ten times more fun. Um, and we're putting it on, my friend put it on last year, in a similar kind of event, and we thought it was amazing, we had so much fun. So we are like, let's do some other kind of thing. Um, and of course we've got to fundraise for our graduate show, which is in June yeah. in Rick Lane in London. It costs cool. like £2,000, so we've got to fundraise quite a lot of money for it. So we're like, let's do this, <laughs> drag bingo. Um, and like we go out quite a lot in drag. And it's quite fun, everyone enjoys it. Like everyone can dress up and have a good time, get drunk. Etc. Etc. So we're like, let's do drag bingo. Um, we basically wanted an event to raise money for our, our third year exhibition, something that would get people in. Yeah. We thought something like drag bingo because it's like liberating and like everyone would be like in a good state. Um, I don't know. Like it's nice just being able to like I'm normally quite manly, not manly, but like I'm not a very girly person. So I don't really bother with makeup or like dressing up or anything. So it's nice being able to like have a change and like make an effort and like just be someone else kind of for a night. So yeah. it's just fun like seeing all your friends like in this amazing costume and like being like, oh, <laughs> I'm in drag. Like, oh, that's funny. But yeah, <laughs> it's just fun. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just like a different experience. My real name or drag name? Uh, when I see it. So my real name is Izzy, well, Isabel Mamie Patrick. <laughs> my drag name is Hugo Bust. I got into drag by actually, I was seeing a girl last year and she was amazing and I didn't really know that drag kings existed. I knew drag queens existed just because of like the publicity they get, but I didn't know that drag kings existed and she was a drag king um, and she like managed a nightclub as well and um, they hosted lo like loads of drag king competitions there. And I was like, wow, this is so cool. I didn't even realise you could do this. I sort of realised that this was an okay thing to do in our society when I, like, I think I didn't really realise that women could dress up as men or like be themselves in front of anyone before. When I dress up in drag, it's kind of, it sounds kind of weird, but imagine, like for me, because obviously I'm a female, like I identify as a female, but for me, I gain the privileges that men do normally. And it's weird because like I remember the first time I did it, the first time I was walking through that festival and I would I would walk through a crowd and people would move out my way. And I was like, this is ridiculous. How are you moving out my way? I didn't know if it was because I looked weird or because I was dressed like a man or because people maybe thought I was a man because I still had short hair back then. And like people were just moving out my way. And that was sort of the first thing that you just feel really empowered yeah. and you feel like, I don't know, it's, it's a feeling that you can't describe to someone who doesn't really do drag because it's, it's being able to be something that you don't get to be in real life and get to have privileges that you don't get to have in real life. I think like within Falmouth, I didn't, when I came to university here, I mean, I'm a first year and one of the reasons I wasn't going to come here, I wasn't going to come here, to be honest, because I thought there wouldn't be much of an LGBT community. I thought there wouldn't be a drag community. I was really worried about that situation for me and like for other people as well. I didn't think that I'd like find other people who were like me. And then I came here and the first thing I realised was that there was like Cabbage Patch on Mondays and that was the first LGBT thing I saw and I was like, this is amazing. And I think the people that I've made friends with here and just sort of everyone that's been at like the Cabbage Patch events and at these events as well, like everyone's really accepting of it and everyone gets really into it and I think that's really great. So I think I do feel really comfortable here doing it. Hi, my real name is Bobby King, but my drag name is Pasha Diakwa. <laughs> so getting into drag for me was when I moved to London and I lived in North London and started going out in Soho, as you do. Like if you're young and gay and you move to London, you need to go out in Soho <laughs> just to learn your shit a little bit as well. Um, yeah, and I just met these drag queens on a night out. They basically grabbed me and they were like, you're same with us tonight. And I was like, okay. Like, they were all dressed in the same, same wigs, same dresses, like, it was like a unit. A um, bit like Scream Queens. <laughs> um, yeah, and just latched onto me and I met, I was friends with them for a good, like, six months. Started doing drag a little bit, but I was the baby bear of the group, so it was quite <laughs> difficult being hairy and all. Um, <laughs> Yes, and then I moved back to Cornwall and I just got really bored, so I thought I might as well just polish my drag a little bit. 
So Cabbage Patch Club originated in June 2016. Um, it was basically set up by me and my friend Jack Cahill, who still runs Cabbage Patch, but he does it in Brighton as well now. So we've got a night here and we've got a night starting up in Brighton. And it's basically meant for small towns that have nothing going on, like LGBT-wise, that need a bit of fun and glitter towards their community. <laughs> yeah. As, as much as we all say Falmouth is a multi-diverse place, it's got a lot of work. And with Cabbage Patch Club involved, it's very much pushing the boundaries, like putting a bit of like the city vibe in the small town kind of syndrome, <laughs> which it needs for sure. So Cabbage Patch Club is a bit of, I see it as like, oh, what's, I don't know the word for it, a sanctuary. Yeah, a sanctuary for anyone that wants to create and express and be themselves.